Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over the Apex Trader funding ch series where we trade 20 accounts, funded accounts, combined with my live accounts, and we basically take funded accounts all the way to getting approved and then showing the journey into the first withdrawal of all these accounts. So if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely want to hit that subscribe button. I trade NQ and ES. So if you trade futures, this is your chance. The whole purpose of this series is just to document that no matter how much money or how little money you have, if you have the right trading skills and you're consistent and disciplined, then you're able to make thousands and tens of thousands of dollars a month using prop firms to fuel that. For those who are new here, let's go over back to the beginning. So here is the end of the first week of the challenge. You can see my accounts here on NinjaTrader. And if you don't believe me, you can go back to the previous videos and I have all of the accounts in each of the videos in the series. But basically you can see uh, 50K accounts and you'll see that there's only one that's a PA, which means that it's a real money account. The rest of them are uh, working on getting funded. And we ended the first week of this series around 51,000 for most of the accounts. You have to get the accounts to 53,000 and then they get approved and they go back to 50,000 and it basically becomes real money where you can then withdraw money once you build that balance. So only one at the end of the first week, then you go to the second week. After two weeks, you can see right here, we had uh, two PA accounts at this point, and most of the accounts were at about 1,500, 1,600, 1,700 in profit. Then you can go over to the third week. After three weeks of trading, we had a good week there, and most of the accounts were at 2,600 in profit. And we had one, two, three, four, five, six PA accounts at that point. And then you can see the week after that, we pretty much had all PA accounts. Yeah, so we had all PA accounts. I blew one of the accounts. So I, I had 18 and I traded two of my own. So out of 18, I blew one and passed 17 of them. So I have 17 PA accounts and right, right there, the balance is about 50,000. And you can see December 27th. So that was going into this new year. And now we're one month into the new year and basically I've been struggling uh, with my strategies. I had to switch strategy because I had some strategies that weren't doing very well. So January was not a good month for me. Uh, if you go ahead and look uh, over in the next week, you can see we lost about um, $400, $500 in that week. So the account balances are below 50,000 for most of them. And then I bought uh, three 250K accounts. So then I had 20 accounts. So we had two, uh, sorry, three 250K accounts and uh, 17 PA 50K accounts. And then that was the end of week five. Then you can see the end of week six. Um, we made some money back, made a few hundred dollars. Things were looking good. 250K accounts were looking really good. Um, then I started to struggle again. So you can see past two weeks. Actually, no, I was all good. This is where I had a really big problem. The trade copier, uh, you can look at my last video. If you're trading more than 20 accounts at a time, you have to be careful. Uh, right here, I was stuck in a trade, unable to close my position and took a $1,000 loss. Uh, this really hurt me and then I had to decrease my size a lot because you'll see I go over the risk of ruin calculator. I had to really decrease my size because if I kept the same size and I took a couple, couple losses, I would lose the accounts. Uh, basically what happened here was uh, I, I decreased my size to using the micros and you're only allowed to trade 1,000 contracts in every 30 minutes. But I was trading micros, so I was trading like five, six micros per 50K account and then 25 micros to 30, 30 micros per 250K account. So every trade I was trading about 200 contracts. So you know, if I just take four, four trades in a 30 minute span, I use up all the contracts and then I was stuck in a position with one NQ size, unable to close it for about 20 minutes. Uh, and I took 40 points, 50 points of NQ drawdown, so it's a 1K loss. And put me basically right here. So I was, I had like $900 or 1,000 in drawdown, right? And then this past week was break even, a slight loss because of commissions. Basically it lost like $80 or so, basically break even week. How it started this week was um, I took one loss uh, and then I decreased my size even further and then took a bunch of wins that pretty much covered the size of the loss in the rest of the days of the week. So break even week and now I'm stuck uh, trading super small size until I take a few wins and then I can go back to half size, which is still small size because it's still half size. So I'm trading less than half size at this point until if I get a few wins early in the week, then I can move to half size uh, and that we'll, we'll go over those numbers now. So basically, um, 
sitting right here you can see I have about 1,000 in drawdown in most of the accounts which means that if I lose 1,000 then I'll, I'll lose the accounts so we'll go over to the risk of ruin calculator and just see based on a specific win rate that I have with my strategies if we have a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio we just want to see what's the probability of me losing the accounts in how many trades uh, my strategies personally have about an 80% win rate and then the risk reward is always about a one-to-one -one, which means basically if I'm trading NQ intraday then let's say I have a 10 point stop loss my target is about 10 points I have 2% drawdown of room because I have 50k accounts and I have 1,000 in drawdown 1% 1 would be 500 2% is 1,000 so if I have a 2% drawdown, I lose those PA accounts that I got approved and then paid for. So we don't want to do that. So we want to see, okay, with my strategies, 80% win rate, what's the probability of me losing the accounts? I'm likely to take about 10 trades in this coming week because I'll have that many trading opportunities. Um, if, I am, if I'm trading one NQ contract, then my risk per trade is 0.4%. Why? Because my, my stop loss is about $200, right? Take profit is also $200. That's 0.4%. Half a percent would be 250. So let's see what's the probability of me losing the accounts. Basically 0%. Run it again, 0%. So honestly, I can trade with one contract, but what I'm going this, this week is even less. I'm risking 0.2% this week. Why? Because number one, I want more confidence. And once I have confidence, then I can hold positions and take more profitable trades. But I'm in low confidence right now. So basically what I'm thinking is, let's say I take two trades. Uh, let's say they're winners, right? I get two wins. That's about $200. My max drawdown then goes from 2% to about 2.6%. And once my max drawdown is 2.6%, then I go to the one contract size, which is risking 0.4%. And then at that point, you can see there's basically no, no chance of me losing the accounts. So honestly, it's starting this week, I could go straight to trading one NQ, but I'm gonna do half size and then one NQ. And then after I build this buffer back to a couple thousand, meaning the 2,500, once the buffer is back to 5%, then at that point I can go to two contracts and I can be risking the 0.8% because in the next 20 trades, what's the probability of me losing the accounts? Zero, zero percent. So just to dive into this a little deeper, I hope you can see all the writing on the screen. This is how I have it all planned out. Each week, my strategies average 80 to 100 points on NQ a week. Um, the, the monthly average is around 400 points a month. Uh, on NQ with my strategies combined, that does average out to about 100 points a week. But of course, some weeks can be like 50 points, some key, some weeks could be break even weeks, but then the other week could be absolutely kill it, do 150 points in one week. Um, but the long-term average is 100, 100 points a week. So at that point, at that rate, uh, if I just use specific sizing and guidelines, we can see the likelihood of the, the future profits. So. You can see at the top here, going into this week, I have about 0.8K to 1.1K in space with my accounts. Uh, if I use this half sizing with a current uh, stop loss of about 10 points, then it takes eight losses in a row to lose the accounts because uh, that's that's the lowest balances because $800, it's $100 per loss, uh, eight, eight losses in a row. We already saw in the when I went in the risk of ruin, it there's no chance basically, right? Unless I have there's another slip up or some human error, right? Which has been happening lately, so that's why we have the things factored in. So because of that, uh, if I do still get the average of what my strategies tend to have a run rate of long term, which is 100 points, um, that'll boost my balance up by 1,000 per account. Uh, and you know, the 250K accounts do bigger size. They do 20 micros, not minis. So basically I'm doing five micros on the 50K accounts, 20 micros on the 250K accounts, uh, and then uh, more micros on my personal accounts. So in total, it's 205 micros per trade on all of the accounts. And you can see that right there. Uh, and you just run the, the numbers on that. Basically how it works is 205 micros. You multiply the 205 by the points of profit, which is 100 points, and then you multiply that by two, because it's $2 per point per micro, and that's how you get $41,000.
So if I have a normal average week, the, the expected profit is about 41,000 US. Um, that'll put me back to about break even. Uh, yeah, that'll put me back to break even on the month of January. Uh, and then I'll have uh, 2,000 room, uh, which is basically putting, putting me back to break even. I'll have 6,000 room, so then I'm allowed to move up to one contract and four contracts. And I know that because of the risk of ruin calculations we just went over. And then you'll see, you know, we're starting the week. The accounts are, you know, a little bit under 50K, a little bit over. So around break even starting in February. And we have the sizing now of one contract. The, the, the 250K account sizing is a little bigger, four contracts. Personal accounts have other size too. So total 38 minis, 38 NQ per trade. So now this is the full contract, which is 10 times the size as one micro. So now you just run the numbers. This is now 38 contracts times 100 points times 20 because it's $20 per point. That's how we get 76K US. So in the next two weeks without human error with, and expecting an average week on my strategies, we're anticipating 41K profit and 76K profit. We'll see how this goes. It could be an underperformance week. Maybe we only get 50 points that week and we have 20K. We'll see, or if it's a little better, we got a little more. This is how I plan it all out to make sure that I'm treating this like a business with consistent expectations in an inconsistent, in an like an inconsistent uh, field, right? You know, and you're trying to build models to see how could I have the most consistency, and this is how you do it. You run the numbers, you run the stats, you get a ton of data. Data is everything. You run the number on the strategies, and then you see if that's going to allow you to get the profits that you're expecting. So this is how I expect to get back to break even in the month of January and then have that first withdrawal about a few weeks into February. So make sure you subscribe for more videos just like this. Thanks so much for watching. Hit this, hit the thumbs up button if you appreciate it. It lets me know you love these kind of videos and look out for the next video coming out next week.